and I started working. He gave me because chief architect went on vacations and he left a project already it was built, skeletal, already built in steel, but coverings they found was uh, uh, not well done because these panels which they did as a, uh, to prove, you know, that water thing wouldn't pass because during hurricane, this terrific force of wind and so on, and sometimes water could pass through the skin, elevating skin. And they tried this and they found that water was passing by. Therefore, they had to do another skin for this. Uh, building was made in aluminum. First building which was made in Alcoa aluminum. Then when I got this building, it was about 50 story, and they gave me photographs of skeleton and steel, and I had to do skin for it from uh, uh, aluminum. Well, they gave me drawings what he did. He did very small elements, and between windows was about four these elements, and over uh, on top eight small little and he joined this, you see, but such way that water was passing, like big pressure of water was passing by, and it wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. I said, try to do something like that. Well, I tried, it was so easy, it was quite difficult, because they told me you couldn't go to big dimensions. But to lunchtime, I didn't have absolutely no idea. It was first day, and I thought, I don't know, I would go even for lunch, I would try to do something, you know, because there we go, I have no drawing at all. I was only thinking, sketching, I'm not thinking to produce. And I looked through windows from the fifth floor, an enormous car was passing over there. It just happened. And it was not like usual, but much bigger. I thought, Go and look how they did, you know, because it was from metal. How they joined this, you know, such a big, because they told me I couldn't do it, you know, because it's too big uh, for pressing, you know, because of how they did it. I went over there, I took a piece of paper drawing, and I look, measure or so, this, I found only from three pieces. Back here was second and from third piece. And when I calculated, mm -hmm. I could do from floor to floor in one piece. Or my drone. Mm -hmm. Then but I wasn't sure if it could be done because a uh, man who was responsible for uh, production, he came and he told me about this is uh, that Charlie Abbey, the chief designer, he made a small scale. Because apparently you could do a large scale, but in one piece, you know, mm -hmm. you could do it. Metal, you could be able to join it. Well, I went to a friend of mine who was next to me sitting, not friend because I didn't know people, but I was talking first day, you know, talking to him. He was a Jerry Littlefield mm -hmm. sitting next to me. And I told him, look, after lunch, I would like to check because. They told me I couldn't do a large scale panels, you see. I had to do in small uh, panels this <laughs> cover. And uh, it's a problem because link, you have to have a lot of links, you know. <laughs> and it links. And I would like to do in three pieces, you see. All this, instead of I could calculate, it was 18, I believe. I, in three pieces, I could mm -hmm. eliminate in these joints. And I could press with puppet, I want, because it has to be pressed, mm -hmm. not flat, mm -hmm. but pressed to give puppet. And he said, okay, you could check. I said, how could I check? Why? Because I said, I said, 
car which has a three pieces. Mm -hmm. And it was General Motors. He said, yes, it was Chevrolet or something like this one. He said, we will call General Motors. And he called, he said, he is a firm, architecture firm, which would like to use aluminum. Is it possible to make from three pieces of dimension such and such, which will cover from floor to floor? He said, of course we could do. And you could press also to give some pattern that it's not going to be flat. Any part of pattern to you want, but not too deeply pressed. Only just need, you know, to give some design. And, and I did, you know, drawings, prepare all these drawings, and I did such ways that give little shadows. I calculated the sun in summer is very high. It's just good enough to give shadow, you know, that sun would go in. Mm. And I did drawings in two or three drawings, even in color. And nobody was using color. I used magic markers and the colors. And I have a little bit gift, you know, I could do drawings. And I did perspective, I did drawings. When I was finishing this after three or four days, and a very tall guy passing by, he came, What is it here? What are you doing here? He asked me. I said, well, I am working. Why, all right, what are you working on? What is it? This is already finished. Charlie Abbey designed this, it was finished. I said, yes, but apparently Mr. Johnson told me that it's leaking, it's not good. And he asked me to design uh, once again. And yes, but you could do it such dimensions. It's impossible. It's, uh, I don't know, from where he asked me. It's time for me now. I, I explained to him all this story. He said, well, okay. He went to his office and I asked generally, who is this guy? What he wants? Who is he? I said, he's an owner. What owner? Carlson? He said, yes. He's an owner of this office, big office, Carlson. And after a few minutes, Mrs. O'Toole came, his secretary, and said, you are Mr. Lesky? No, I told him names. Yes, and you did some drawings, yeah? Mr. Carson was talking to you. I said, yes, yes, a moment ago. I thought he is going to fire me. Are you sure? I am fired. Well, I look at the charity field. He said, take all of these drawings and come to his office. Well, I said, look, Jerry, I didn't even see you, know you are, it's not quite a week. I'm sorry, it's I'm going. Well, I took all these drawings, he said, where he is? Yes, his office. Go through the door, straight corridor, and on the left side is office, this is the two. On the right, the big two rooms, Mr. Harrison's. And I went over there, I took these drawings. And I think, no, it's end. But I was always surprised why he asked me to his office. I thought he would tell me by Mr. Johnson. But, and he asked me to sit down in his office. But he put his feet on the back <laughs> on his desk <laughs> on a chair over there. <clears throat> I said, what would I like to have? Coffee tea? He said, oh, coffee please. And uh, cognac? Or what do we like to have? I said, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but in a moment, he asked Mrs. Otoy, she came, and she brought, you know, coffee for us, and cognac and some cakes. And she said, tell me a story about yourself. I said, yes, I think I was in London working on a plan, master plan for London. I have all drawings, I have it made. Uh, shown to Mr. Johnson, and after I did some for Eton College, some buildings for science I designed. I finished university in London, and so on, so on. I said, but what, how did, do you know that you could do this? Well, I told him that. I just, by chance, I looked at the car, which was much, had much bigger parts than the, uh, this here, what I need, you know. And I checked with, where did you check? 
with the General Motors. I have a name of a man who gave me exactly what I could do and so on. He explained how to get, he gave me his name. And uh, now uh, I said to Jerry Littfield, Mr. Jerry Littfield helped me. He, I think he's, he gave me guitar also to him because we were waiting for some time because he was also uh, trying to check, you see, and we are sure that it's going to be done. Well, I said, okay. He called again Mrs. Latour. She came, he said, call Mr. I don't remember so and so from uh, uh, engineering department. Because we have also over there engineering department. He came, all this man. Uh, what his name was? Uh, oh, I forgot. I forgot his name. And he came. And he explained to him, check this, if this could be done, you have land here with General Motors, call Detroit and check all this. How much is true or how much perhaps uh, Mr. Lisky didn't understand too well, you know. Mm. He went, but he came after half an hour, exactly, it's correct. You could do it. <laughs> they checked <laughs> and they built, it was... Yes, and it appeared exactly as I did for the sketch. Wow, really? And when I finished this project, uh, uh, close to Harrison was the uh, room where he was bringing his clients and so on. Mm -hmm. Before he, they came to, to his mm -hmm. office, and he told Mrs. Atul, clean this room. And Pat is going to see. Huh. And ours is uh, Jeff Design. Yeah. And it's I have a terrific program because Clapster, I mentioned his name, also Pat Clapster, he was working also, and Abby, who left. Mm -hmm. And Harrison took me over there. Uh -huh. After Charlie came back, mm -hmm. he looked for his drawings. I had already all finished. Oh my gosh. After two. Wow. Two weeks he came, mm -hmm. I had already drawn. Yeah. Project was finished. It was oh, a nice day. Yeah. Great. And after wow. he was working with Harrison and the Do you know the and name of that building? What it where did those yes, panels I end know. up going? The building was a commercial credit in Baltimore. Oh and really? And so it's existing. <laughs> That's cool. First building and uh, our cool. first one was for co op. And this was first public because Alcoa cool. uh, was the company that made the steel, right? Or the aluminum? No, no. Uh, no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. This is what happened. Well, it certainly is good to hear yeah. how that started.